Hey what's going on guys, welcome for another video, it's your boy KNX here for another video and welcome. So today we're gonna talk about how to create amazing environments in Blender. This environment that I'm gonna show you how to create, it's super easy and super fast to do it. I'm gonna show you how to create an ocean environment and we're gonna create this in the most uh, efficient way. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to give a like we are almost reaching the 1000 subs okay guys and if you want to support the channel don't forget to go check it out my patreon page i have created a patreon page where every single blend file of the tutorials projects and stuff like that and where you can ask me for a, a tutorial that you want to see on this channel you can go there and ask me okay guys so if you want that if you want to have the blend files of the artworks that i i do of the tutorials or if you just want to support this channel to grow that's one of the ways possible for you to do it all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video this is the first part of this uh, environment tutorial i will split this tutorial into parts this is the first part where we're gonna talk and do everything that we need to do in blender and then we're gonna go to photoshop to do the color correction and to add the simple details to create our artwork all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like it. So with no further ado, let's go to Blender. Alright guys, here we are in this amazing platform. Here we are in Blender. Let's select everything and start our environment tutorial. Let's select everything, click X to delete it. Let's click Shift A in Mesh. Let's add a plane. I'm gonna just scale this in the Y axis a little bit and now scale it just like that. Alright, now we have our first plane created let's go and add our material this will be our water so let's change here to shader editor click new let me just change the name to water and let's go and add our material let's go over here and just do, uh, use the three nice textures one two and three in the third one let's just click ctrl t to add our node wrangler and let's change the scale the scale of this one will be 30 and uh, 6 on the detail this one will be 20 no 30 i will use 30 and uh, 5 on the detail and this will one will this one will be 20 and 4 on the detail just like that all right guys if you don't have the node wrangler on go over here to edit in preference just search for node wrangler and it will be right over here for you to download it all right guys so let's go and just add a mix rgb to mix these noise textures let's change the blend mode to multiply and bring a factor of one and let's just plug the, this factor and this one in this right order all right and let's go and shift it with the second and just bring plug this color to the second color just like that and this noise texture to the first color just like that all right guys so now you can see what is going on if i change this to our viewport shading all right this is what we have this is our noise texture working on so let's go and add our waves to add our waves we just need to use these noise textures and add a little bit of bump so let's go and add a bump node over here plug this to the height just like that and let's just see what is going on right now you can see that we have already created our waves let's just give it the right color and the right uh, transmission all right guys so let's go and add a glass bstf right over here plug this to the normal and uh, we need to change the here the ior value the ior value is basically the value of uh, every material that you want so basically right now this is set up to glass this is the right value for glass we want the right value for water and you can search on google and you'll find that the right value is 1.333 all right just like that we have the perfect water that we need let's go and now set up our camera so to set up our camera let's just bring our view to the right place i think this is looking pretty good so now let's add a shift a let's add a camera Control alt 0 to put your camera in your view just like that let's go over here and change the resolution to 1080 to by 1350 just like that this is the perfect resolution for instagram so if you want to post 
your art on your Instagram account, use this resolution. All right, guys, let me just split our screen and just leave this in the right place just to see our camera. And let's go over here to our camera and change here in the viewport display the best part out to one to only see what is going on inside our camera view all right now this is looking pretty good i think i will just bring this a little bit to the side just like that all right now let's go and use this plane and just duplicate this the times that we need to add more depth to our environment all right this is looking pretty good so now let's go and add our hdri to add our hdri we can go over here and just select world or you can go to the world properties click over here and add an environment texture you can see here uh, the environment texture you can go and click open i will use here the hdri snowy park you can download download it on hdri heaven all right guys click ctrl t and now we just need to activate over here our scene world and scene lights just like that all right don't forget to save your project and uh, let's just change here the rotation or the location to have a better looking environment let's go and just rotate this to the right place that we want something like over here let's just scale this down a little bit and in the y-axis not too much so this will work very perfectly and you can go again and uh, just to change these values and you can change the angle of your camera to the right place that you want and change everything you want you can go and change the position of your models that we're gonna import right now you can see right now that we have a lot of lightning coming from the top part of our plane and from the bottom all right so we don't want that we only want from the top part so let's go and add here a plane let's scale this uh, just a little bit like that all right bring this down and let's go and change this to object Let's add a new material and here in the base color, we're going to change to black. All right. Let's bring our roughness a little bit up. All right. Just like that. Now you can see that we don't have anything going on here. Uh, all right. Let's just bring this a little bit closer. Just like that. All right. This is looking pretty good. Let's go and add our models. First model that we're going to add is a boat. All the models that I am using on this uh, environment tutorial, I, I download it on Sketchfab. They are for free and I will leave the links for the models on the description for you guys to download it. Don't forget, if you are going to download it, uh, you can download every model you want. But if you want to use the same models that I will going to use, don't forget to uh, download it as this one over here. I don't know how to call it, GIF or something like that. Don't, don't forget to download it like that, all right? Because if FBX and OBJ will not work perfectly as Git, okay? So let's just import here our boat. Just scale this down a lot, just like that. Let's rotate it, all right? And bring this a little bit to the side and over here you can use your own values all right guys you can scale you can use whatever you want all right guys here i'm just trying to replicate the same place that i have put this boat and on the main environment so i've i think that this is going is looking pretty good so let's go and add the second model and let's add here our 3d scan model just like that all right it's right over here scale this down and bring this closer to our boat you can go and click view and frame select just to move the view to the selection center all right just like that just bring this up a little bit all right i think this is looking pretty good let me see all right i think he's in the right scale let's scale just a little bit and bring this up and now let's add our second model that will be the lamp now we have added our lamp let's scale this down a little bit bring this closer to our boat and just try to put over here let's scale this down a little bit again and just bring this to the right place you can put whatever uh, you want to put it you can put over here over here over here or uh, i don't know guys try to create your own uh, environment by this kind of stuff and uh, if you create your own environment with some different models and stuff like that 
don't forget to send me on my instagram account i will want to see that and probably i will make a video your environments that you guys have created all right guys so if you're gonna use this uh, tutorial to create your own environments don't forget to send me on my instagram account and i will create a video me reacting to your environments all right guys let's go and add here a uh, light let's just change here though uh, the strength to 0 0.3 in our hdri all right now it's looking better let's just change here in the light the color to something like an orange all right now we have created almost everything let's go and add the last model that will be our rock terrain let's go and add that rock terrain just like that i don't like a lot this model so i just put it just in the side of our camera view because it's not really good this model but you can add it just to be equal as mine or you can just remove it and add other one or just not add it and just remove this one now we have everything created let's click ctrl s to save our project and now what we just need is to render this thing first thing that we need to do it's going over here to our render engine just let's just change this to cycles change this to gpu and let's change the max samples to 3000 we don't need so much them but all right let's change the noise the denoiser to optics if you have it i always love to use here the color management and add a little of high contrast look to my scene and here i can change a little bit how this will affects the exposure and the gamma of our project i think this is looking pretty good right now all right and let's go and render this out the first thing that we need to do is to go over here to our view layer properties and just check this out denoising data why because we're gonna use it in our compositing tab after we render our image all right guys so let me see if everything is done right now I think this is looking pretty good so let's render this out let's go and click over here to render the image now we finish rendering our uh, image let's go to compositing we need to render first to uh, go and use the nodes here in the compositing tab all right guys so let's go and as we apply here and activate here the denoise data it will appear over here the denoise to use it all right guys this is literally what we're gonna use to uh, denoise our uh, render this is just what we're gonna do in here in this composing tab super easy guys we just need to add here a denoise just like that and just bring the image to the noisy image the normal to the normal and the albedo to the albedo just like that guys and then you just need to go and plug the image to the image and it's done all right guys this is already compositing as you can see right over here and now it's done then you just need to save your image and in the next part we're gonna go to photoshop all right guys so this is the first part of the tutorial i hope you enjoy this uh, environment tutorial i hope you enjoy how i create these and uh, i hope you understand everything that i have made on this part if you didn't understand you can go in the comment section and ask me for something i will see it and uh, respond to you guys don't worry about that and if you want you can go and pause the video and uh, use your own time to create this on this environment and as i said in the v in the in the tutorial you can use every single model model that you want you can use these things that i'm uh, teaching you right now uh, to create your own environments you don't need to replicate my environment you can go and do whatever you want all right guys you can go to sketchfab and download free models you can create your own models and you can do amazing environments with these tips that i have give you here in this environment tutorial all right guys so if you want to know how to color correct your environments and or your artwork and how to add some details to become a better art don't forget to go check it out the second part where we're gonna go to photoshop and do everything that we need to do to color correct our artwork and to add that, that details all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe the channel and to give a like i have seen that a lot of you guys are seeing these the videos and don't and uh, 
forgetting to subscribe go check if you are subscribed or not if you are unsubscribed and you were subscribed go check it out just scroll down in the video and in the the video page and just click in the red button to become a subscriber all right guys and if you want to support the channel don't forget to go check it out my patreon page and if you want to know new things that uh, are uh, going on and uh, new projects that I'm working on, don't forget to follow my Instagram account, knx underscore underscore official. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you and I see you in the next video. Bye.